Hey guys, we're here with Christy Rice of The Real Housewives of Miami, which just debuted on Bravo. So welcome, Christy. Thank you, Maddie. How do you think the show came out? I happened to love it. I thought it was fun. I thought everybody would look great. And it was a good introduction to what is expected to come. Well, were there any manipulations, you think, or was it kind of just the way it was? I think pretty much, obviously there's editing, you know, there's a whole lot of editing and that's what this show is about, but I think that we all go into it knowing that, and that's like the scary, untold, like, future of, oh my god, what's coming next season, because, or you're, you forget next season, like, what's coming next week, because I know what I filmed, but I don't know when it's going to come out, or in what light, or what perspective they're going to show me, or my words, or... But I feel that after watching the first episode, they did a good job. Everything was positive. The girls looked beautiful. Miami, the city, looked amazing. So I'm happy with it. We did see a coming attraction for next week, and it looks like Alexia got into a car accident. Is that true? We did have a scene where she got in an accident on her way to a fashion show that she was supposed to be me at. Hence the reason I'm in like hair rollers and looking like a hot mess when she called. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what other hints can you give us to, uh, to any kind of drama? There's definitely going to be drama. Um, I think that the viewers might be maybe like a little bit expecting it on day one just because this is already a series and they're used to, you know, all the other Housewives series you know, they've already talked with their drama, but we really have to keep in mind that we're starting and we need to introduce the viewers to who we are first. And of course, there will be drama. All I can say is where we put six girls, I don't care where they're from, there's gonna be a lot of opinions and a lot of, at times, drama and tears and laughter and, and there's a little bit of everything and I think that we give all of that to the show. However, yes, um, like, for example, me, Larsa Pippen, she came on the show with me and um, we have a past in common. Like, we both were in the NBA, living the NBA life for close to 15 years. And, and so we have a lot of things in common and we've come a long way together. Um, but I also share on the other side, like with Alexia and with Marisol, my, my roots that were Cuban and we grew up in Miami. And so, you know, I think that I, I pretty much am like somebody that's in the middle. I've known Leah too for a while, you know, just because of like the social scene. And the only one that I personally did not know was Adriana. But she's Brazilian, she's fun, she brings a lot to the group. And I don't know, I, I think that they did a good job in choosing the cast. Yeah, I noticed a little bit, is she doing that for the cameras, like doing the catwalk on the, in the fashion show? And you were, you were funny, you made the comment, you know, um, who does that, you know, but as a joke, I mean, obviously you're friends. Was that kind of an odd thing? Did she just, was that spontaneous? I don't know, again, I think that because I have been exposed to a different lifestyle for a long time, that wouldn't be like Larsa or I, which were the two girls that were with her that day, to like search for the attention or to just jump on a catwalk because I want people to see me. Like, to me, it was crazy. So it was crazy, but now, you know, I know her a little bit better and, and that's just her. She's like the attention seeker of the group. Now we know Marisol uh, met a man. She got engaged on the show and married on the show. This is what we hear. Um, any love interest for you? No, my children. My whole concentration right now is on my Cuban rice jewelry line, uh -huh. on my, just basically my fashion. You can go to www.shopriri.com and check it out. For me, it's creativity, uh, including the show. I did it just for fun. I pretty much do things just, you know, because I, I like to enjoy life and. And for me, fashion and creation of whatever it is that I'm feeling at the moment, that for me, it fills me. It's fun. And if it's not that, then it's my family, my boys, my daughter. Great. Sounds like you've got your hands full. So we'll watch you every Tuesday night on Bravo at 10 p.m., the uh, Real Housewives of Miami. And thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me.